back with another video and this time we're doing date advice got down close anyway first off quick disclaimer i got a sore throat so i have to speak very quietly also my little boy's sleeping i don't want to wake him up another reason why i gotta speak quietly okay let's get into it so i refuse to find love through a dating app am i wrong i I'm a 23 year old female and I really don't like the idea of having to chase love. All this, put yourself out there, go on dates, I just don't want to do it. Just the idea seems exhausting and it's not like I'm a completely socially inept person. I try going on dates but it feels more like a job than something I want to do. I don't like going through people as in a catalogue. I want to meet someone organically, I really want to, I never fall in love and I deeply want to, but I don't know what to put, but I don't want to put any effort into finding someone. Do you think I'm missing out? How do you feel about searching for love instead of finding it? <clears throat> now, switching it up because it's usually advice for guys that I give, but I felt generous, I felt like I wanted to switch it up and give the ladies some love here. And for this, it's actually quite... Like, I love it when I know people, like women who are going through this, because it's just like, I know what to do. As a guy, I know how I would like to be approached by a woman, right? And if when I was in my single days, for example. And basically, what you want to do is, you just need to put yourself in more situations where a guy can actually approach you. If, if you don't want to meet through apps, that's what you need to do. You need to put yourself in a position where guys can actually come and meet you or introduce themselves to you in real life. So this could mean at a shopping center, this could mean at a library, this can mean at the office, this can mean on your lunch break while you're at your job, this can mean at school, if you're at school, it could be at university, if you're at university, you need to put yourself in places where the guys you wanna be able to date are hanging out. Secondly, you, as a girl, it's a little bit different. So as a guy, I would say, oh yeah, approach, do X, Y, and Z, right? <laughs> But as a girl, if you come across too forward, you'll be seen as a bit of a slag, unfortunately. <laughs> so what you need to do, you need to be subtle with it. This means eye contact with the guys that you like, a little smile here and there, and uh, we look down and then look back up again. And that is enough for a real man someone who will approach you to come and approach you. It is just giving you, it's just giving the guy a small little signal that, okay, you're down in some kind of way, and then the guy will then make a move. Now, if you don't wanna get treated like a complete slag and just get ran through, then what you wanna do is maybe just hold off on the, like once they've come over, hold off on the whole like flirtiness, just be nice and maybe give you a number and stuff like that if they ask for it. If it's, if it's a real man, if they like you, they can pick it up. Then they will ask you for your number and you can give it over, that's great. But you wanna hold off on the flirty stuff. Let him initiate that flirty stuff. And you just wanna be there like for the ride almost. But um, you wanna be submissive to the man in a certain sense. Let him be in control because you want that type of man, right? Unless you want, unless you don't want that type of man. But I'm guessing this is what most women would and guys would want as well. They want a submissive girl, not like, not like super submissive, but just like lets the guy have his way, and you are just kind of like um, helping him live his best life. Guys like that shit, and so being that girl, you would then be able to not come across as a slag you become across as a valuable person that he wants in his life to stay around to kind of help him out with other endeavors in life. And hopefully that's what you want. It sounds like it, that's what you want. It sounds like you want someone and to deeply fall in love. So that is a kind of a way to do it, right? So what I would say as well, however, so that's just one approach. Another approach is let's just say you're out at a supermarket and you see a guy you like and you're in the same aisle, for example, and there's something high up on a shelf and you want him to grab it for you, just, excuse me, can you can you grab that for me? Can you help me out? Can you grab that for me? He grabs it and then you say something along the lines of, <laughs> this is kind of gay coming from me, but like, oh, you're so strong. Oh, thanks so much for that, um, etc. And you kind of like, you basically just say something small to break the ice 
And again, just by showing that small, little, insignificant attraction to him or like attention to him, I should say, that is enough for a real man to be like, okay, she's down. Let me ask her like where she's from. Let me ask her what you're up to right now. Um, do I need to follow you around the whole store and pick up all the high things for you? Stuff like that. That's what a guy who would who'd be interested in you or and, and also who was like a real man would say, because it's like, all right, I'm going to take as the man, I'm going to take this interaction to the next level. All you need to do is get into a position where you're up near and, a, and around guys. Secondly, you need to be able to maybe break the ice, especially because like a lot of guys nowadays are a little bit shy when it comes to approaching. But if you just broke the ice in the first place, it allows for their personality to come through. And yeah, he may have done that without you doing that. But if you're saying that you want to like take the initiative, which is, it sounds like what you want to do, then this is an approach for you. So that being said, I hope that helps. <clears throat> I've done it on the guy's side. I haven't done it on the girl's side, but this is just what I would want when I was single from the girl. So that I, as the man, could go in and capitalize on the situation and take you and whisk you away and lead the situation from there. All you need to do is break the ice and get that opener introduction stuff going. So that being said, I hope that helps and I'll catch you in the next video.